everybody. What's up? It's Chris, aka Stitch. Welcome to a new week. Alright, so this past weekend, the Dark Knight opened, and everybody's excited for it. Unfortunately, in Aurora, Colorado, a tragedy struck when a guy comes in at a midnight showing and opens fire, killing 12 people, wounding about 59 others. Chris Rainer last week talked about it a little bit. I'm not really going to get into it. The only thing I want to say, my heart goes out, our prayers go out to everybody in Colorado, all those who were affected by this tragedy. It's horrible. On this faith, it's just evil. And that, see if it's from a six year old on up, even just one life, I mean, this doesn't matter, just one life itself is precious. And their lives that were taken, I mean, lives that are changed, it's been awful. One thing I do want to say, though, as a, as a Christian, is some of the things I've seen are like 10 ways to overcome this stuff. And you know what? That's not what people need to hear. So, whether you're a Christian or have another belief, you know, right now, the best thing these people need right now is just to take time to grieve and mourn and try to put th things together. Not necessarily make sense, but they just need to get out their grieving and mourning and their anger. That's the best thing for them right now. And this is the time for us to come together and mourn with them. And that's really about the only thing I wanted to say on that. The one thing I do want to talk about, I want to give a confession about all these things. And this is something that happened to me several weeks ago. Actually, this began a long time ago. When I was a kid, my grandfather, Jesse, died. I was very young. And I remember going to that funeral, and I never really would talk to you about what death was like. And I remember going to the church, and I had my toy, and I'm playing in the service. It's not registering. And then we have to go through and give our final respects. As we walk up to the front, I see my grandfather, Jess, right there. And as I walk up, I touch him, and I'm cold and lifeless. And I just want to get him at that point. I just broke. And I didn't know how to deal with that. And so all I know is that any time after that, when I grew up, from other friends that have passed, family members that have passed, even my mother, I have actually never really mourned or grieved any of those, those losses. My heart hurt for those who were hurting, but I wasn't hurting for myself. I would never take those times. This is something I've been carrying for years now. I'm 34, and yeah, I'm just now starting to learn how to do that. Because even at my mother's funeral when she died, I, at the funeral, I, I, I spoke and I faked every emotion that I had. To me, it was just another day. And every death I've been to, the funeral was just another day. It didn't affect me. I would put on an act for everyone else to make it look like I was hurting just as bad. I, mean, I was hurting for them, but I was not hurting for me. Until, I said, a few weeks ago, I got a call about a cousin me that died. He overdosed. And I've only met him maybe three times ever in my whole life. And the thing is, I'm just like, okay, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. And, you know, I'll talk to you later, hang up the phone. And I walk out of this room, and I start walking this hall, like four or five steps. And I just collapsed. I couldn't breathe. And next thing I know, I'm just bawling, and all this stuff's happening to me. And I'm just like... What's going on? Next thing you know, I just see the faces of every person, even starting with my grandfather Jesse, up to the point where my grandmother and her husband just passed away within months of each other. And it finally hit me, the grief and all those faces and all that loss hit me at one time. Think about like walking around a corner or something, you know, and you get hit by a big gust of wind that knocks you off your feet. That's what it felt like, and I just didn't know how to deal with it. But it was a good thing to happen, because now I'm actually sitting there, I'm actually having somebody that I'm talking with now. kind of helped me to deal with this, because for a long time I've actually thought I was a freak, and I thought there was something wrong with me, and it's just because I was, you know, protecting myself from ever having to deal with that. But it's actually made my life better, and I think I've become a stronger person because of it. Because now I can openly let go now. I don't have to be super strong for this stuff, and I don't have to hold back. And so that's something I've really been dealing with for a long time. And this kind of brings back some of that stuff right now, seeing all the tragedies that are going on. So my question is, how do you deal with grief? And how do you deal with tragedy? Because I know some people, I mean, they let it out. Some people cry, they write, they do different things. Maybe even vlog. Hopefully it's something that's healthy. Take a moment to send us a response to this. And uh, let us know how you deal with these things. I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys next time. Simplified.